Hey guys, Thrifty Christian with a great video for those drop shippers out there who are tired of dealing with Amazon to eBay drop shipping. This video questions whether or not you can drop ship from eBay onto Mercari. Yes, Mercari. It was something that I had always questioned uh, whether it was possible to do because I started um, cross-listing over onto Mercari from my Poshmark and eBay um, stores. So I always had that question in the back of my mind having a little bit of experience with drop shipping from Amazon onto eBay which I do not like. I hate it. Um, and I don't recommend it because simply the um, the sellers on Amazon seem to go out of stock more often than not and it's very hard to form a relationship with a seller and consistently buy from that seller at a consistent price the prices are always changing um, I look at it like the stock market it changes so much the prices just overnight could jump or fall it just it's just never consistent and it's very disappointing and it's very discouraging to try to you know list an item and then when you sell it on eBay you go over to Amazon and you go to buy it and you see that it's um, you know five dollars more and then not to mention the headache where um, Amazon charges you tax when they're not supposed to charge you tax and then you have to jump through hoops wasting your time on the phone with them and then they find out you're a drop shipper and then they warn you that you're not supposed to be doing that using uh, the um, two-day delivery um, service the Amazon Prime service so it's kind of like one of those things where it's a big risk and my thought was if I'm going to take a risk at anything I want to minimize the risk overall so I just kind of like waded out into the waters with Mercari and I, and I, I did a few tests and I, um, I found a little bit of success and then um, I kind of took off with it and what you're looking at here on my screen is basically my spreadsheet um, down here on the bottom left as I drag the uh, cursor down here I'll just go through what this part of it is now this video is going to be lengthy and I hope that you're going to stay with it if you're at all interested in some of the things that I have to say about what I'm doing and what my plans to do in the future with this um, are so please stick around to the end of the video because there's going to be a lot of information in here that doesn't only relate to drop shipping on um, on Mercari but also relates to um, buying products and, and research and learning how to create um, extra um, income or revenue streams as you'd call it so it's kind of early for me this morning and I've been up doing some research and I've been wanting to do this video for a while so I've got my coffee here and uh, I've got the froggy throat voice here but I'm gonna push through and keep going so okay products to post let me just go ahead and click on that uh, these are items now I will tell you that um, my virtual assistant pretty much did all of this and I didn't I really didn't have to do anything other than just to um, allow her access to go into PayPal and and make purchases and things like that so so she pretty much did all the work here so I'm not going to take any credit for what she's done uh, her name is D down here at the bottom you'll see D's notes so she's created about four spreadsheets here and they're all compiled into one store um, so these are the products that she actually had we had another employee doing the listing for us so what she would do 
was she would go and find and hunt the products. She would do the research. And she would hunt the products out. And these are basically just links to the, um, to the eBay store. And the employee uh, would go in and he would look, look at the item, find it here. He would find the uh, eBay photos and um, he would copy and download the eBay photos. So he we, we really don't even use our own photos. We just use theirs. Now, I will tell you this, now that I'm on the topic of photos, if you choose to start doing this, there are a lot of... Uh, there are a lot of pitfalls, okay? And what I mean by that is that somehow, some way, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, programmer. I don't know a lot about the how setting up these websites and um, what they do to protect themselves. Uh, Mercari is not at all drop ship friendly, at all. They do not want you to drop ship. They do not want you to use stock photos, and they want you to have the item in your physical possession. Now, I have obviously fooled them into believing that I have it in my possession. Um, but I will tell you this. If you choose to use eBay photos, make sure that you're using a photo, your primary photo, the one that gets shown on the listing first. That primary photo uh, needs to needs not to be a photo that has made circulation through the Google. Um, let's see, what would you call it? Through made its way through the Google algorithms. I guess if Google picks up your listing, I think it takes about 30 days for Google Google to. Um, to refresh and go out and scrape and pull in a lot of data and then your listing shows up in Google after I think 30, 30 days. I'm not sure on that but my point is that <coughs> <coughs> excuse me my point is that if you use a photo that's been in circulation on the internet Mercari has a way to find out. It has a program that runs and it checks and it finds the photo. That or it finds some of the data that you put into your description. Like, I'm just not sure how it works, but they have caught me um, and they have warned me about not using... Um, or, or listing items that I do not have in my possession. So I've always wondered, how did they know that? And the only way that I can figure this out is that they've had a way to um, go through. And there's probably an algorithm because, or a program that they run because no, they don't have enough staff to physically do anything like this. So it's a, it's a program that they have in effect that will go and search out your listings and data that's in your listings to make sure that it is um, something that you have in your physical possession. So, so that's what I recommend on the um, photo part of it. And I'll show you, maybe I can show you one of my listings. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I did on one of my listings. So just use another photo. Just use like one of the secondary photos um, in the eBay listing. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go on to items. Okay, so right here, this is the list of items. And, of course, I'll just go down to the total that we have active right now. The total that we have active right now is 591, roughly. Okay, and there's a few of them in here uh, that there's a few extra in there, but... But yeah, 591 is not bad. Okay. And I'll just go through real quick and show you something that I do to make a little extra money to pay for maybe some software 
or something that I've got going on on another platform. So right here, I just sold this, I think it was last night or this morning, I just sold this little um, Waddles Pig Plush 6 inch anime animal, okay? Um, if you look right here, these are the links to where I would go and buy it. So what we've done in the spreadsheet is we've put the title in here. We've put the link in here where we're going to go buy it. Over here to the right, we've described its shipping and handling time because that's really important. On, on eBay, there are a lot of drop shippers and they're drop shipping stuff from Alibaba, okay? And they'll tell you that the shipping is in the United States, but when in actuality, when they go to order it for you, um, it comes from overseas. Now, eBay, I've, 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 I've inquired about this because I've had some issues already. If, if an eBay seller ships you an item from overseas and they declared that it was shipped from the US, eBay does nothing about it at all. So um, you can you can you can actually sell on eBay and drop ship from Alibaba um, and you don't have to tell them the truth. You can lie straight to their faces and 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 uh, say, hey yeah, it's shipped from right here in Florida and it's not and there's nothing eBay will do about it. Um, the only thing that um, I can tell you about that is that yeah, you can you can drop ship, you can do it. And, and you can pull people into it because here's what happens. eBay's policy is this. If you place an order, okay, you have one hour to cancel that order if you do not want that product. If you don't cancel it within an hour, then it's up to the discretion of the seller to cancel it, okay? So if you say, okay, I, I just purchased this product, but I didn't realize, I didn't take a good look at the shipping. And this is why we created the spreadsheet, was because we wanted to make sure that we, this is one of the things that we investigated very clearly to make sure that this was a US seller, and that they were declaring that it was fast and free and or guaranteed in four days, like this one down here. So, <clears throat> geez, where was I going with that? Okay, so yeah, basically created the spreadsheet just for the purpose of making sure that when we created a listing that it was going to sh get shipped in time. So at the seller's discretion, if the seller doesn't choose to cancel that for you, then guess what? You're stuck. You have to wait a month or however long it takes for that product to get shipped from overseas. Now you can open a case, but by opening a case, um, it only gives the seller more time past their initial um, delivered date. So if the delivery date shows that it's three weeks away, then guess what? You have to wait three weeks from that point. So I highly recommend that if you're going to do this, make sure you use fast and free and or guaranteed delivery. Okay? Um, so on this particular product, it's fast and free, all right? Which means that they basically have a one-day handling time, okay? To ship this that one 24 hours to get this item uh, or get tracking uploaded okay so over here price from eBay I put that in there it's 1395 and the selling price on Mercari is $22 okay that's what I listed as uh, the last column here is whether or not they allow you to make a best offer and what I found is that that's just bonus money man it's just like <laughs> If I go in and offer them a dollar, a dollar less, and they accept it, then great. You know, I'll come back and I'll write that into this field that they accepted twenty-one dollars instead of, or no, uh, thirteen ninety-five. I'll, I'll put they, they accepted twelve ninety-five. You know, and um, I'll continue to put that every time I sell it in there. So, uh, but that's how this spreadsheet set up. So let me go over here to sales. 
Oh no, let me let me show you the extra money. That's what I forgot to do. Right here, um, this is the this is the the regular web link. Down here it says Rover. This Rover link are basically these are affiliate links. So what I did is I went into eBay and I became an affiliate partner in the eBay network um, partner network and it was real simple to set up it was real stupid so what it did is it basically allowed me to create these links on one of my from one of my other accounts so now every time I sell a product from eBay I get a commission <clears throat> so this particular item doesn't have a an affiliate link created for it so that's what I'm going to do right now to show you uh, how easy and how fast I can do this so all of these pretty much almost all of them that one down there doesn't either so I'll have to fix those if I sell them so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to just go over to there's the item that I sold and before I get before I do that I want to show you what I look for in when we do research for products I look for this number right here this 24 sold in big red letters now earlier I was talking about how I did not like Amazon and the fact that the sellers were just too scattered their inventory was always up and down but this right here tells me a lot when I see this it tells me that this person has a history of selling this item and when I see that, I immediately go into their store, okay? Um, and I'm gonna go into their store right now. I'm just gonna go over and click on their store name. And then I wanna go into their items for sale, okay? Now these are their items for sale. And I know I'm gonna go all over the place with this, but there's a reason for everything that I'm doing right now. So just hang in there. So 17 sold of these D&D uh, &D dice. 47 sold. 83 sold. 37 plus sold. All of that tells me that more than likely this guy has these in his physical possession. Okay. He has them in his physical possession. He ships them out really fast because the listing tells us that and he sells them over and over and over again and that's what I look for in a seller so now that I have a seller that doesn't have like ridiculous amounts of listings if you go over here and you see like this results number right here is like 10,000 listings you know he's a drop shipper there's no question and you don't want to deal with that guy you don't want to deal with them because they're drop shipping from other platforms their prices are obviously higher and you're not going to be able to make much money off of them and you're going to end up dealing with some issues you're going to have some delivery time issues you're going to have all kinds of problems with these guys so look for someone that has a low number of results of listings but yet has <clears throat> consistent solds on their individual listings and this tells you that they have it in their physical possession and if then you have any other questions you know what you can do just go straight to the seller and ask them just be straight out honest with them and say hi I was wondering if you have these in your physical possession my customers <clears throat> it's very important that I ship to my customers in a timely manner and I would like to purchase from you but first I want to know if you have these in your physical possession because I do not want to deal with drop shippers if you're a drop shipper that's fine word it however you want to word it but start a conversation and create a relationship with this person that you're going to be drop shipping from because guess what if you establish a relationship and this person tells you I have all of these items in my physical possession then guess what go through their store and list every single item that has multiple solds go and list every single one right and then sell their products 
and deal with that one person in all of their listings. It's gravy. It is so sweet to find a, a seller like this and ask him specifically, which ones do you have in stock? Do you have all 954 in stock in your possession or are just the ones with the uh, guaranteed shipping over here, guaranteed by Monday? You know, ask him these questions and find out whether or not he's, you know, got just these ones in stock because you'll see that some of them like that one doesn't have a guaranteed um, shipping date on it. So for these, here's, here's another great tip for you. Let me just take a sip of coffee. Okay, for this one, if he's drop shipping this item, guess what? You can go over to AliExpress and find this item yourself. If you can find this item, buy it yourself, have it delivered to you, and sell it for $10.95. Let's just say you could buy these for two bucks, a set of these dice for two bucks, and have them delivered, you know, for 50 cent more. This is a product that you can go in. It's already proven that it's in demand by his souls. So you can go in and sell this product yourself in competition against him on eBay and on Mercari and on any other platform that you can figure out how to sell on. So there's plenty of opportunity here. And the research is all you have to do. The more you mess around and type in, um, uh, you know, keywords and things like that, the more you'll learn or the more you delve into these eBay stores, the more you're going to find out. You're going to be like, wow, this guy sold 38 of these? Really? Wow, that's pretty cool. Wow, he sold 13 of these? Now, the way you do that, of course, is everybody knows, go to your sold listings over here to your left, click on his sold listings, and let's see what he's selling as far as dice go. Wow, he sold a set of dice that were rare and out of print for $45.95. Now, I'm going to remember that. I'm going to remember why is that rare and out of print. There's something about these D&D &D dice that, you know, certain ones that are old and they're not in print anymore that makes them more valuable. So there's some dice there. Let's just scroll through the store kind of casually and we'll get back to what we were doing. So look, he's, he's selling a lot of like pop culture stuff, you know. There's some more dice. There's dice. There's dice, dice, dice. There's a little piggy. He probably sold me that one before. Dice, 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 dice. Dice, dice, dice. So much, so many sales of these uh, dice. So he has about four pages here. I'm not going to go through all that, <clears throat> but he's probably got a lot more sales on these dice over the last three months. So you can pretty much bet that he banks on selling mainly dice. All right. And he's almost guaranteed buying these things on AliExpress or from Alibaba somewhere from China. He's buying them in bulk at a dirt cheap price, and he's making a living off of it. Up here, his feedback is 10,522. That's a lot of feedback. So he's been doing it for a while. All right, so let me go back. Let me go back to where we were. Okay, so I'm going to create a affiliate link. Now, in the top portion of my screen up here, you, I have this top part hidden because I don't want to reveal my... Uh, store name um, on Mercari. So I have a little um, tool that's in my um, that's in my bar at the top, and basically I just click on that tool. It's the Smart Share tool from eBay. I click Copy Link. It's copied. I just kill that. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and kill this eBay page because I no longer want to use that eBay page. I want to go right in here and replace that link with this affiliate link. So I'll paste it in there. Boom. There you go. And now when I go over to it again, now it's created that link and it'll show that when I buy this thing now, it will give me credit 
from purchasing it, which is probably around 50% of eBay's um, fees is what I will earn. So who wouldn't want to do that? Who wouldn't want to go ahead and set this up and make that extra money? Uh, it's just ridiculously simple. Okay, so I will go back and I will buy that. So let's go back to the Google Sheets. Okay, so I went over um, the links, how I got the spreadsheet set up. Now I'll go over to my sales. Uh, let's go to my sellers. So over here, like I said, when you find a seller that is a great one, this guy right here, Bull Weevil, this seller is a holder of all the Harry, product, Harry Potter products he sells. Um, copy and sell all of his products. So this guy, I've, I've done that. I've made contact with him. We had some dialogue, and he's told me, hey, I hold everything in stock. This is what I do all day, every day. I sell Harry Potter products and other toys and stuff like that. So that's what I did. I went in and I listed every single one of his products. So you can, I haven't made many sales from his, but, um, you know, whatever. That's one or two sales amongst 2,000 items. It's, it's still, <laughs> it's still money every day. So anyway, these are my sellers that I go back and I check on and that I really, really like. So that's what you should do. Set up a, a spreadsheet and put your sellers in there. And here's some notes and stuff that she's made. Um, I really won't get into that. Let's move on to the items or no, the sales. Okay. The date that I started doing this was uh, October 23rd of 2018. So over here I had a couple of, in the beginning I had a couple of problems. Um, here I ordered the wrong item. The customer said she received an incomplete package. Uh, it was the wrong item. Uh, and you're going to make these mistakes, but I've made the mistakes for you, so you don't have to. If you just listen to what I'm telling you to do, um, you'll, you'll be okay. Um, a lot of times, depending on the price of the sale, if you have an issue with an item, um, the person, a Mercari will actually refund. If it's like $15 or lower, Mercari actually refunds you and the uh, buyer if you have an issue, like if they want to try to return the item. Um, some of the issues, I want to talk about some of the issues that I've had with, with uh, sellers in the beginning. I made those mistakes of choosing sellers that were not, um, that, that did not have the um, item in their physical possession. And what happened was they were not uploading tracking within a three-day period because Mercari gives you three days to upload your tracking. It actually t gives you longer than that, um, but they recommend that you upload tracking within three days. Um, so what I was doing was I was uploading tracking just to um, kind of make sure that the customer knew that the item was on its way. I was just uploading some tracking that I'd pulled from some items that I'd sold here and used that temporarily. And then when the seller on eBay uploaded the tracking, then I would go back over and I would edit the tracking from Mercari and upload the proper tracking. So that way, if the customer were to go check on their package and see where it was at um, or track it, they would at least see that, yeah, it was en route. Um, so in these cases here where it says bogus tracking, that's what I did. I uploaded some bogus tracking trying to uh, just give me a little bit more time. So. If I go down through here, these yellow ones are items that have not cleared yet. And there's some items in here that, let me see here, let me just go over here. Some items in here that they're still, they're still, um, that have still not been delivered, that are still in, um, in the process of being delivered. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
All right, so let's let's talk about the sales and how I set the spreadsheet up. In the first column here where it says gross sales, that's the gross sale price. That's the price that I listed it for or sold it for actually. Because on Mercari, a lot of um, a lot of the buyers will will send offers and I have everything marked to make a $5 profit. Every item that I list, I try to make $5. Um, and $5 per, prof, uh, per item is very good because you could barely make that drop shipping from, uh, from Amazon onto eBay. It was very tough on, on, on Amazon to eBay drop shipping. It was very tough to make a $5 profit. Very hard. Um, you have to do it through many different ways and it's really convoluted. So I would, I would rather do this all day than to do the other. Um, even though this is more work to do it and it's more physical, like not physical, it's more, it's, it's a little more daunting because you have to do the photos, you have to create the listing and you don't have any software to do it for you. It's a little more time consuming, but Hey, that's why you pay, um, virtual assistants that's why you pay them you know to do it for you and your time's not wasted you know your, your time is more valuable of course um doing other things than to have you know yourself sitting here doing this for eight hours straight just hire somebody else to do it teach them how to do it work with them and then give them the incentive or, uh, or something you know give them some extra incentive to allow them to have interest in it and to take pride in what they're doing. Um, that's the only way that I could figure out how to, you know, get these guys to, to work at a decent pay. Like right here, the Onan's pay is $32. I'm just looking at it. So, uh, you know, $32 a week for him is for us, it's nothing, but for them, it's, it's a lot of money. That's what we negotiated. And that's what I paid them to do about 30 to 40 listings per, um, per day, five days a week. So it's not bad, and and thirty two dollars you can earn that in one day. It's really simple. So let me just go over this real quick and and show you how I did this. So my gross sale on the first item up here in red is thirteen dollars. Mercari takes out their ten percent. It's really easy to calculate. Um, and then the item cost, of course, is uh, subtracted from the gross sale. So my wife set the spreadsheet up. She actually did all the uh, uh, formulas and things like that for me because she's really good at it. So anyway, it the, to the, the, the total profit is $3.81 on this. And what I did is I just put in like a Fed tax of 15% just to keep me safe. So I knew how much money just kind of set to the side. Um, you know, so at the end of the year, I would, you know, pay this amount to the Fed or whatever, whatever it ended up to be. But 15% was a comfort, was a comfort zone for me. Um, and my total profit over here to the right of $3.24. Uh, now there's a note on this one that says attempted to cancel, but seller sent anyway. Reason for canceling is because we posted original photos and these are knockoffs. So I'm not so sure about what. The, that note is, but either way, um, I just went ahead and sent it. <laughs> so let me go on down the list and you can see all these orders same way. And right down here, let me see. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So the total profit was $324.25 after the 15% fed tax we have $275.61 now this might not seem like a lot of money to to people right but if let's just say that i mean this is probably i think this is 2 months let me see here so it's december we're at december 21st right now and we started this in October, the end of October. So, yeah, so we got a full two months of working in this, um, in this drop shipping store. So, 
for two months and we only had like 600 listings, I would say that this is pretty good because we've gradually worked up our listing count to be able to you know, create this amount of revenue. Now, granted, I did have to pay uh, for the employee from this. So, you know, take out, you know, about a hundred and something. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What did I? It's about $135. Yep. $135. I have it written right here on my pad. So $135 of that money right there went to paying out for the, um, uh, for the um, employee. But here's the thing. I'm fine with that. I don't care because all the work is done. All the work is done. All I have to do is when I sell an item, go back in and relist that item. And it takes a matter of seconds because what I do on that is basically I'll show you here. I'll slide this over a little bit. And right here on my desktop, I have this file and if I open that file up inside you'll see each individual file is a listing and inside that um, inside that I have a, a page here that has all well the photos are inside that and all the listing information is on one of these sheets inside that so this is an entire, this is everything you need for an entire listing right here. So anytime I sell something, I just go over here, grab the information, throw it back in the listing. It takes me a matter of like a minute to do that. Copy paste and then boom, it's done. It's already back in place again, ready to sell again. It's not like eBay where you can keep it selling over and over and over and over again without having to relist it. That's the only downfall of this is that you have to go back in and relist it. But like I said, it doesn't take long to do it. So it's worth the time to do it. Okay. So I guess that's about it for that. I'm trying to think of anything else that I can tell you guys. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm using this data on the items that I've sold over and over and over again. I'm using that data to do what I said earlier when we were talking about um, this individual seller. He has sold, like I said, 24 of these over and over and over again. And that no number will only continue to rise. What I plan on doing with the funds that I've made off of drop shipping is I plan on taking that money and I've already done it once. I go in now and I buy the products that I've sold over and over and over again. I'm going to just keep reinvesting that money. And now if I go and buy and find, if I source this pig and I, and I buy that pig and let's just say that I buy, um, 50 of them. Okay. I go and I buy 50 of them at a really cheap price. Let's just say I can buy them at four bucks a piece. And I can turn around and sell them at $14 free shipped. That's what I'm going to do. That's my goal. And I want to eliminate all of these guys that I buy from. And I want to reduce my risk of drop shipping on Mercari by, I want to reduce my risk of getting caught drop shipping on Mercari and having them, you know, delete my account. Um, by having all this stuff in my physical possession. So that's the long-term goal is just basically to buy these items that sell over and over again and then turn around and sell them on eBay and on Mercari and compete against the guys that I, were, that I was already buying from in the beginning. So let's just say that, um, let's just say that I purchased uh, this pig and um, at a, at a um, wholesale price from somebody that sells it in China. Okay. I have it delivered. Now I'm going to sell it on eBay. I'm going to sell it on Mercari. I'm going to sell it on Amazon and I'm going to sell it on Groupon and I'm going to sell it on OfferUp and uh, let go and any other app, any other selling app that I have available, whether it be Depop or wherever. 
I'm just going to continue to list it on multiple platforms and I'm going to sell it to everybody that I can and or maybe just create my own website as well and sell directly you know from my website so that's the that's the end goal in um, selling on Mercari so let me go real quick now I don't want to reveal any of the customers uh, information but I will show you real quickly here uh, this is the item that is sold and I haven't filled the order yet um, but right here I wanted to point this out so you sell an item and now you got to go find the rover link well what we did is we put the number the location right here in the description so number 518 is where you will find the item to go and purchase it once it sells so I'll go back over to the store and I'll go to number um, I'll go to my items sheet and 518 it's right here it says Pokemon Pikachu but it's not because I've deleted a couple of listings so it shifted it up here so there is the there is the listing I go straight over I click the rover link I purchase it I get the credit once I buy it um, and then I wait for the seller to upload tracking and once they upload tracking boom I uh, copy and paste that over to my um, I copy and paste that over to my spreadsheet okay sorry about that guys I just got distracted <clears throat> my wife is awake so a little bit of a little bit of uh, they didn't know I was recording so a little bit of noise in the background so okay so yeah I copy and paste the tracking into Mercari once the uh, seller here has uploaded it and I got a notification on my phone to tell me that it's been shipped and that's about it guys um, so as you can see over here real quick this is it this is the listing it's so simple you just copy and paste in the title you uh, put its condition shipping from Florida free the category and a quick description which is just copy and paste from your um, from your um, like I said from over here on your your desktop all of the stuff that you have inside there so man I've been all over the place I hope that you guys can understand this if you have any questions um, just hit me up in the comments box below or send me an email at the thrifty Christian at gmail.com and I'll be happy to um, walk you through some of this stuff and again I will I will tell you that like I said before there are some pitfalls to um, drop shipping on Mercari and some of those things just basically have to do with uh, shipping you know making sure that you ship on time making sure that you they're not going to penalize you for it if you if you're late shipping the item out but the customer will definitely definitely give you a hard time I find that the customers on Mercari are more demanding of you know receiving their item like <laughs> like <laughs> I mean like within three or four days they want it uh, even though they they don't realize you know there is delays in the post office and the post office is not open on on uh, on uh, the weekends well sa Sunday at least so anyway those are some of the pitfalls guys if you have any other questions just hit me up and I'll be happy to help you out I hope this helps somebody out there I hope it kind of steers you in a direction I highly recommend that if you're a beginner and you've just started looking at this maybe you're watching this video and you have a full-time job I want to give you this one tip here's what you need to do if you want to get into if you want to quit your job okay let's just say you want to quit your job you're tired of working for your boss you want to be on your own you want to be independent my number one piece of advice to you is do not quit your job if anything stop spending money on things that you don't need and take that money and invest it in products like this little pig right here figure out how to buy it from Amazon or uh, from uh, Alibaba or AliExpress 
buy this little guy and sell it. It's a lot easier to sell something in your possession when you have multiples than it is to do like some of the other stuff like I go out and I garage sale and I find one-off items. It's so easy to do these uh, multiple items, just selling them over and over and over again. It's so much easier. So stay at your job. Use your money that you have. If you have any extra money, build on that. Take that money that you have and buy products like this and sell them on multiple platforms. It's so ridiculously easy and it's probably the best and smartest way to get a, a sustainable business up and going faster than quitting your job and then relying upon that income to be able to get you by and pay your bills. So that's the last piece of advice that I'm going to uh, give you guys. I'm going to let you go with that. Guys, I hope, um, hope to uh, see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, again, hit me up in the comments box below. God bless each and every one of you. Thrifty Christian, I'm out.